and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for coming. Today we're just going to do a get ready with me. It's going to be just kind of me talking you through exactly what I do to get ready for a singing gig. Tonight uh, I will be singing with Hunter and the Gators at Ameristar Casino in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And so I do my makeup a little bit different when I'm going to be on stage, especially on a big production stage like what I will be doing this evening. So I thought I would just uh, let you kind of see what I do when I do a little bit extra, okay? Uh, what I'm starting off with today, as you can see, there's a lot of dark circles up underneath those eyes. And I went ahead and started with a spray tan uh, today. I went to Palm Beach Tan uh, right after lunch with Bobby and got a mystic tan i go dark i get them to do triple bronzer on me especially if i'm going to be performing tonight and i do the hyper tan where it makes it come up faster i think and then i put two scents or smells in it so i don't you know smell it the whole day myself so we did that and that was uh, i guess about three hours ago so i'm still processing but anything to you know, keep me from having to feel like I need to get out in the sun and get a suntan. Um, and on the stage, it just looks so much better. So here we go. Let's talk about what we're doing also with my makeup. I'm going to go ahead and pull my face up, my hair up, I mean. And we will, let me do that real quick. Let me tell you what I, I did before I went to get sprayed. I um, came home from the gym, took a shower, uh, started off, and I washed with, I don't know if you can even see this. This is the Renew Advanced gentle refining cleanser this is from Asia. these are the redox signaling molecules um, that i'm big involved in right now and will be for the rest of my life this is actually reversing the aging on my skin i've been doing this for one month amazing results you have no idea it's crazy and you can even ask bobby um, after i washed my face with that i came back in with the renew advanced intensive redox serum now this is the serum that I put around my eyes here in my 11s. I do my forehead and I just do right in the nasal labial fold. And this product is just a concentrated form of the redox signaling molecules. So that's what this is. And I do a concentrated form there. Uh, I come back in with just the Ultra Replenishing Moisturizer by Renew Advanced um, uh, with the, uh, the same ASEA molecules. Uh, this is just the overall moisturizer that I actually do after the fact. I do that before I go to get sprayed just because I don't want any, if I have any dry patches, the spray tan is going to attach to my face and then I'm going to have to worry about correcting it. So I try to put a nice moisture on my face, on my neck, so that the tanning solution doesn't adhere as much. So that's kind of what I do. So then, then we get home and then we start our whole procedure. So what I start with, let's go with my, what I still use as my under eye, um, I guess my under eye shadow is this Shadow Sense. I also sell this product and y'all can see it right there, I think. Shadow Sense, this is in candlelight and I'll be turning, you know, just over here real quick to, I touch this, this is a great, under eye shadow concealer. I use my little just concealer brush and I just kind of go around this. This is going to last. It's in Shadow Sense, which is the same product as Lip Sense, as you know. And so it has a remarkable staying power. Um, and I love this. The color is good. Y'all know that sometimes I use this product just by itself. I do. And I don't, uh, I'll use this as my eyeshadow during normal days. Um, you know, just when I don't want to do a whole lot of stuff on it, that's what I'll do. Now I do sweep up underneath here. Um, cause a lot of people use that as under eye concealer. I, of course, I'm going to have to have a lot more just because I'm going to be on stage tonight. Um, than that. And goodness, the under eyes are are telling a tale today, aren't they? Goodness gracious, they're kind of dark. All right, the uh, primer that I'm using on my face is just uh, Bare Minerals Prime Time BB Cream, and I use it in, this is in the medium, you know, and I probably ought to switch to the, uh, to the uh, tan today, but I've already got it on my fingers, so we're going to go with it and see what it looks like. 
All right, so we're going to just, I'm a finger, fingers girl. I know a lot of people, I do have the beauty blenders and all that, and I may smooth a little bit with it, but I'm, I'm just kind of that. So what that is going to do, hopefully, is going to hold all of my makeup in and on my face as I perform tonight. There's a lot of lights at the Ameristar. A lot of lights at the Ameristar. Okay, makeup, um, eyeshadow. I let that sit for a little while. So I move on. I am loving the Naked, uh, it's Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. Um, loving this eyeshadow palette. Uh, and y'all, I'm not an eyeshadow palette person. Now let me find my, here's my brush out. Um, normally I think it's such a waste. I do, I think it's a waste because I'm like, I only like three colors, why do I do it? I'm getting more and more into it the more I'm doing my makeup differently and trying to, I'm watching these YouTube videos. So all of you YouTube bloggers, YouTubers that are doing uh, makeup for older, mature women, thank you, because I'm watching every one of them. Okay, what I'm gonna use, it's called Reputation, and it's this color right here, if y'all can see that. And what I'm gonna do with that, it's kind of a goldish, brownish, um, shimmer kind of thing and I put that on my lid now and I think I told y'all this in another um, video Dominique um, the, the lady from uh, she's a TV anchor in Houston um, so impressed with her everything about her I'm impressed with um, everything about her channel uh, her life that she shows on YouTube really enjoying everything by her she's the one who told me it's okay to do a little bit darker on your lid. And I had been such a negative about that for so long. So that's what I do here. So I put this in and I go on up. I don't have extremely hooded eyes, even though a makeup artist that I worked with last week in New Orleans, she said, well, you know, you have hooded eyes. And I was like, oh, I don't. I don't have hooded eyes. Maybe I do. Um, so I kind of put that up into the crease whereas I'm still gonna have enough room on the very top. Y'all, I'm reaching over to find just uh, makeup brushes. I'm not really good at my makeup brushes, but I'm gonna come back in for, uh, this is called Bribe. I'm gonna come back in with Bribe, and I'm gonna do it up on my brow, and just lightly dust in the brow. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer. I may come back with a little bit of shimmer for that brow bone just to make it pop from the stage um, just a little bit. Okay, so you see there we've got, you can kind of tell. So that's just two colors so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna have to do something with the crease to take care of that hooded eye that she told me I had. So let's play with this color called Burn. Uh, it's still a little bit of a shimmer, not quite as deep as end game or distilled, but let's see, and let's just do the outer corner. Now, the other thing I'm learning is you leave your brush in place and you make small circles. You don't really brush, you touch and just little small circles while it's still just sitting. Y'all, I never knew that. And that's how it doesn't spread all to the inside. And so basically it's just, you touch it and then wiggle in circles. Wiggle in circles, that's all you gotta do. And that helps you get that outer, outer corner. And give your definition to the outside. Now, I have still not mastered this whole V thing, but I try, I try to just swoop, swoop down. It's just never working for me, I'm still trying. Please feel free to comment below with tips and tricks on how I can better do my eyeshadow. I would love that because y'all see that I need it. That I do. Okay, so we've got this outer, outer edge. All right. And y'all, y'all are going to think, okay, this is crazy because that's about all she does. That's about all she does. I'm going to come back in because I have learned that blending is so important. And so I get this really big, y'all can see that. I wish I could, it's by crown. There's no telling. My, I'm, I'm not a, I'm a brush queen, but I don't know about, they're not expensive brushes. They're not, I'll pick up something at Sephora or Ulta or Groupon, you know, and if they feel good, 
uh, I use them. I probably should um, wash them um, more often than I do. I know that they need to be cleansed, but I'm the only one using them. And so a lot of times I'll get a towel and, you know, if I'm changing the color, it's horrible. I'm horrible, but I'm truthful. That's just what I do. Um, it's just, just being truthful. Okay, so I'm blending. I'm blending, 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 just to make it kind of blended. All right. Now, what I do from there is I kind of realize that that's, that's kind of about what my eye is going to be. So I leave that alone. Then I normally go straight into my foundation. I used to do foundation first and then eyes. And I don't know why I swapped because I'm, I'm never happy right now. I should go back to doing foundation first because I feel like this doesn't work because my, my makeup is not right. Today, let me tell you what I've been doing uh, with my foundation. Uh, I have been trying all of the different foundations that everybody is trying online. Y'all, I don't, I don't like anything. I don't like anything that I'm trying that everybody else is loving. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I guess just keep going back. Um, this L'Oreal Infallible, uh, it's a 24-hour foundation. It's total coverage, which, of course, I need total coverage if you're going to be on stage. Um, and this is the color 306. It's called Buff Beige. It may not be dark enough for me, so we will just see. Oh, that one's not open yet. Let me use this one. Um, and still 306. So we'll see what we get. Now, let me tell you what else I do for stage makeup. This is the It... Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Um, and this one is, is this the Illuminating? This is Anti-Aging Hydrating. Uh, usually, where's the Illuminating? This is the Illuminating. I will add this one. I will add one of these, usually the Illuminating. It just kind of makes my, my face shimmer a little bit on stage. Just gives me a little bit of a glow. Um, so I like to add some of this and this is in tan the color tan so it's probably going to help me so what i do is i start with a nice squirt of the l'oreal a nice squirt of that then i come in and just one little squirt of this cc cream and i mix it together and let's uh this might be okay and then we come in and we do our foundation i go up into the hairline back down, down in here, into my nose. Yep. See how everything just gets better when you put your foundation on, your eye makeup, your, your back going, oh, okay, yeah, that did work for eye makeup. Um, before that, you're like, oh, this just isn't working. And then you do this and it works, so I like it. Okay, so, now we realize, well, this might not be exactly the right color, but we can bronze it up here in just a minute with a bronzer and it should work Word. fine. And then I go back with some of my eyeshadow stuff and I continue to just do a little bit on the outer corners and that's usually just because my I touched it or, you know, when I was doing uh, my foundation with my fingers um, and we'll come back in with that all right so here we go after that um, that's not blending properly so we'll fix that in just a second okay so eyebrows um, I did have Brittany touch my eyebrows with a little bit of color today while we were re correcting the hair color a little bit because I, I do have thick brows. I've never had them microbladed or anything like that. I just pluck underneath them. Um, they seem to be okay. Usually when the Botox is accurate, they're even. Sometimes they get uneven a little bit depending on the Botox. But um, So what I'm just gonna do, since I don't feel like I need too terribly much, is I'm just gonna actually use this. It's NYX, it's chocolate. Chocolate is what color this is just to give my brows, just so they stand out, just a little bit more to go with this blonde hair. And I'll just, just like a, I mean, it's just like kind of mascara is all it is. So I just kind of go over it and I'm happy to do that. And, oh, that got a little bit thick. And if one side gets thick, 
Well, instead of taking it off, which I probably should, I just make the other side a little thicker. But as we all know, eyebrows are kind of a thing now. Um, not really a thing for me. They've, you know, I've since I've always had eyebrows, they've not been a big, a big deal for me. But I know they're a huge, huge deal for a lot of people. Um, okay, the next thing that I do is really with an, a liner. I love this Urban Decay 24/7 Waterline liner is what I use and of course this is in legend because I just do it in black I'm gonna line my upper eye and then y'all I go in the waterline I do I waterline or some people call it tight line on the top I just call it I go around in the in the waterline it works for my eyes I know they say it makes them smaller I think it makes mine just kind of almond shape a little more and I like it and like I said um, or I've heard other people say you do what makes you happy, especially at 50. So if you think it works for you and you like what it looks like, that makes a lot of difference, okay? So what I do, and I may not talk during this, I just, a very thin line, and I do go all the way across and out on both sides, all the way across. I come into what I call the tear duct, and I even like to get it a little bit. And then I kind of go in the waterline. Now, I don't like to do this. I don't like to pull my eye down. I never, ever like to pull my eye down. I even teach my girls, never do anything but pat your under eye area, ever, for the rest of your life. And then they come in and see me pulling that under eye down, and they're like, Mom, what are you doing? Okay, but sometimes it allows me to get more product in there and I will say this that won't hold we start playing at eight o'clock tonight and it is about three right now so I will have to redo that water line for the dramatic effect uh, right before I, I actually hit the stage this evening so all right, now, okay, so you can see kind of how it just defined my eyes just a little bit more. Now, let's also look at, I, sometimes I'll do this, just a little wing liner. I'll pull up just ever so slightly and give myself an upward, I'm going to call it a dash. See how it does? Just a little dash. Um, I only do that really when I'm going to be on... A big full stage not necessarily like a restaurant stage or you know a local pub bar stage where people are up close to me because I don't want them to go oh look at that sticking out like that it's just me just me um, now also when I am singing on stage a lot of times I will come in with a purple I have these hazel um, eyes and I come in with a purple eyeliner up underneath the bottom it just seems to make my green slash hazel eyes pop just a little bit more from the stage and so I usually just touch up underneath here now this brand, this is from Sephora this purple that I have I don't care for it as much there was a brand Jordana or something like that that I got at Walgreens one time fabulous loved it can't find it anymore so I don't know what happened to that all right so I'm looking I'm still seeing that I need this is not blending real well so I'm coming back in that I did much better something's going on with this eye are they supposed to match are they ever supposed are they ever supposed to match okay they are all right so next thing I do is oh I'm kind of starting to, to um, curl my lashes I've not been a lash curler for a long time but I'm watching these YouTube videos and they say we should do it so I'll come in and I will just curl just ever so slightly um, guys I can't really tell much difference when I curl mine versus not but I figure all of these smart youtubers that have been doing this a lot longer than me and makeup artist and they know what they're talking about so I decided I'll do it too all right I use this is the urban decay subversion thicker longer stronger lash primer I believe in a lash primer kids I believe in it um, 
I do, I'm gonna just apply it like I do mascara, trying to make sure that it's as even as it possibly can be. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all, I do use a lash um, serum at night. Uh, I have been a Latisse user most of my life. One thing that I have found with even Latisse is that I get a bald spot on this eye about three-fourths of the way in at about five months with Latisse. Happens every time I start stop and start Latisse and I don't know why. So I have switched over um, to Babe Lash. Babe Lash is what I'm using right now. I have been looking at the new lash uh, that is a new product that a couple of the YouTubers are talking about, that I may pick that up. But I will tell you, I have always loved Lash Boost by Ronan and Fields. I have always had good success with that. Now, um, I, I used um, the Babe Lash and the Latisse because the company that I worked for, part of our compensation package is free products. So I got those products for free. And so that's why I used them. Um, but I'm thinking about trying that Renew or New Lash now. Um, so I'm gonna see. Now, this is my mascara. I do swear by it as well. Liquid Lash Extensions by Thrive Cosmetics. Thrive Cosmetics. I have to buy it online. It's $24. Best stuff I've ever used, and I'm not lying. And the reason I say best stuff, it, I get the dots up here I don't get the dots down here, but I get the dots up, up there with every other mascara I have ever tried to use. Every other mascara. So when you find something that works, uh, the lady that did our office manager's eyelash extensions, she came in one day and she was getting some stuff done. And so she said um, that she had the answer and she said, I've got the product that, that will um, help you with this. And she's the one who told me about this product. And, you know, she said, nope, you got to get it online. You don't, I don't think they offer it in stores anywhere. And so I researched it. It's only $24. I mean, you're paying 36 and all those others for those higher dollar ones anyway. And it is amazing for me. It is a fiber mascara, so when you take it off, the little it looks like little bugs uh, when it comes off, but it comes off easily with my makeup remover, or I have those All May eye makeup little, I call them Stridex pads, because y'all remember that's the day it was always a Stridex pad, but they're little eye makeup remover pads that, uh, that'll take it off really, really easily, or my DHC oil that I've used for years to take off my, my full face of makeup. And that's always been a great, great thing too. Okay, and y'all, I found this other gadget. Let me tell you another gadget. A um, friend of mine, uh, Samantha, she was selling some really great mascara one time and I want a little special deal or something. And y'all, I loved it. Where'd it go? Um, I don't know what this is. It is a eyelash comb, if you will, and you see all the mascara I've got in it. Y'all, I just use this thing and I love it. You put it in here and it'll separate your lashes. You can separate them on your own or make them come together. This is a great little gadget. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Samantha. I still use this and absolutely love it for my mascara to separate everything get it all pretty I got to tell you what my sister-in-law does uh, I'm not gonna tell you which sister-in-law but you know, if anybody knows her they know what she does she literally sits up on her sink with her feet sits on her bath uh, her vanity with her feet in the sink and she uses a straight pin to do her eye lashes I have laughed at her for now 21 years um, not really laughed. I sit in awe of her as she sits there and does that with her lashes. So they're amazing. All right. So let's take a look at what happened with my face while it's still, you can see kind of, I back it up a little bit. We still got some situation going on. So we need to make a little color 
happen in this face. Y'all, okay, if you're looking for a compact for bronzer, highlighter, blush, this It Your Most Beautiful You Compact, does it have a name? Laugh, love, live. Laugh, love, live. That's a great saying for us. This is what I'm using for kind of my overall bronzer. And the lady, I bought this one at Ulta. Um, the lady told me this is what I do. And it's kind of fun. She said, take a big brush and do a big swirl. Combine all three of the products together. And then go over the edge of your face with all of it. And use it as a bronzer collecting a little bit of everything and I thought well okay so we'll try that and you know I kind of like it 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 doesn't make anything too harsh or anything like that and then uh, that's how I start it then because I'm gonna be on stage I actually do some contouring so I take a Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JHO3. I don't know. It kind of looks like that. And I have to be real careful because I've been getting a little heavy handed. I go into my little hollows back here. Tap a little more into the hollows right up underneath. Right up underneath my cheek. Oh, look, you can already see some of the highlight there. And I haven't really even highlighted. All I did was kind of go around with that brush. So you start right there with that and you pull that back and then I come back in with this cheek color and I just kind of go on top of it I want to just cheek color really quickly and just pull just a just a hair and like you said um, uh, like I said this is gonna be um, this is stage makeup so it's gonna be a little bit more than you would normally and then I get one last little brush here. Like I said, I have brushes all over the place. Like I should do them more. And I I do the C, cur C curvature to highlight my cheekbone. There. I do the tip of my nose. I do Cupid's bow underneath. And sometimes I give it this. Sometimes I don't do that simply because if there's going to be pictures taken it's got a lot of flash it, it comes back and I look greasy or something so I don't I don't know what I do there okay so then I assess and see kind of what we've got and if I like it or whatnot and we come back in with my witch hazel cloths y'all saw these I'm almost out so I need to make a target run and get some more of these and oh, one more and I wipe my lips off um, stage lips, uh, I would like to say that I always do stage lips in a red, but I don't. Sometimes I do a neutral. Okay, so now we've gotten the face cleaned off, and let's do our lip scents. I think I'm going to go with a bright lip. It's called Raspberry, and um, uh, I may not want to do Raspberry. I don't know. I may start with raspberry and then we may tone it back down with a little pink or beige champagne. So let's do our first coat with raspberry and see what we get. Okay, that is our first with raspberry. All right, let's go back in with some pink champagne. I think that'll be good. We have to make sure it's good and shaken up, as we know. Uh, do y'all notice that I didn't do any under eye? I did not do any under eye concealer or anything, and I may not. Um, I just let that um, my foundation do it and y'all I may be okay let's go in with this and we'll talk about that in a minute
Okay, that is one coat of raspberry and one coat of pink champagne. I told y'all that you can uh, mix and match them, right? So you can do uh, different colors if you want to and make them a little bit better. Uh, let me find mauve ice. Mauve ice is always pretty when you, let's see if you can see it, dun, 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 I don't know, it's gonna focus. Uh, you can come over with mauve ice and it gives it a little bit of icy pink, icy pink uh, color to it. And it's kind of pretty from stage. It just gives a little shimmer. I will always, I'll also, I'll use my glossy to seal it. But then right before I go on stage, I'll use Diamond Kiss. And that's just really sparkly. And I love Diamond Kiss. And then we're gonna let all this dry. And there, and there we have it. Do we think we need any under eye? Y'all, I don't think I need any. I don't. And that's amazing. Did y'all see how dark my under eyes were when I started this? So uh, I may just leave it like this. All right, we can pull this down and see how, what we did with the hair while we did it. So. Once we get, oh, I need to curl that piece one more time. The new hair, see the hair's got a different color now. Uh, all right, so what we'll do, I will add the glossy as soon as this gets dry and we'll actually be ready. We'll load up the car with the gig bag and meet the guys over at the Ameristar. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, wanna watch some more of it, um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and click the bell if you want to know kind of what we do and when we do it. Uh, oh, I better wait a minute. It's not quite dry yet. Didn't I tell you the most important thing? Make sure it's dry. Don't do it too soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and say goodbye while we're waiting. Thank you again. My name is Chris Link. I appreciate you being here. Please come back often because, you know, we're just getting started. Mm -hmm.